What's up everyone, my name is Parv and I hope everyone's day just got a little bit better as you've just crossed paths with our League of Legends top 5 plays. We have some fantastic plays to show you guys so please sit back, relax, and enjoy some of the best plays submitted by the League of Legends community this week. Starting off this episode at our number 5 play is Mick Thompson with some impressive moves. At the start we see him coming into the fight a little bit late as he shields to slow the 3 enemy players and then immediately EQs into his ultimate, dropping Vladimir and Shaco right after. Kha'Zix jumps in, quickly bursting down Lux, but her ignite will finish him off, leaving Jarvan at around half health to solo a strong Vayne. He runs into the brush and under so much pressure he comes up with an epic flash shoot back into the brush as Vayne flashes over the wall and looks around for a while before coming up empty handed. The great cleanup followed by the amazing flash shoot was an epic way to start this episode off but now we transition into our number 4 play with Silomare and Vayne and her clutch mechanics. Right off the bat we see the enemy Blitzcrank emerge from the brush looking to make his way around to pull Vayne but Nunu foils his plans by getting in the way and then starting a brilliant ult to deny him even more. We now switch our focus to Vayne who gets on Caitlyn dealing huge damage with Village Water in final hour forcing Caitlyn to disengage but Nunu flashes to exhaust her before she breaks vision. She comes out with barrier and Blitz pulls Vayne back but we see her flash just as he knocks her up allowing for the immediate auto attack and then tumble to finish her off. She then switches to Blitzcrank with the Great Condemn to push him even further away which forces his flash but she pursues and then tumbles through the creeps to land the third auto attack for the double. With Hecarim at bot lane cutting them off they can try and stall and suicide or fight him off. Since Nunu never backs down we see Snowball go out to allow Vayne to kite him back while dishing out some damage. Nunu continues to auto attack for his passive to try and help her out but it's pretty much all on her. She kites around hitting him as she jukes the other way but he gets her really low so she uses Condemn and he makes one final charge at her but she tumbles back to dodge his Q finishing him off right after for the extremely close call 3 for 0 exchange. Coming in at our number 3 play we have Drake 101 on Lux who at the start is caught out of position and is forced to run towards the enemy tower before she has no other option but to turn around and fight. After the binding on Leona she shields a lot of the incoming damage but with all her spells down she decides to take off turning around the juke Leona's ult but then Vayne ults and condemns her into the wall. Leona leaves the Vayne to finish her off but she has other plans as we see a lightning fast QER with ignite to 100 to 0 Vayne which leaves Leona dumbfounded but nonetheless she goes to finish off Lux. Drake flashes to be sure Eclipse doesn't end her as she heads for the brush and actually sticks around tossing out her Q and E but watch closely as she utilizes her passive to the max with auto attacks in between each spell. She then shields ready to box it out with Leona and thanks to that plump shield she somehow manages the double with all odds against her just as it expires actually scoring the ace for her team. We're now going to shift gears on the style of plays we head into our number 2 play with Razoff 1AD on LeBlanc which focuses solely on an escape. I'm going to play the clip at normal speed and then break down the escape right after. Enjoy. It's a lot to take in so let's dissect this play and highlight exactly what she did to make it possible. At the start she gets hit by the Q and she notices Zero charging in so she knows something is up and she tries to jump a Z but once she gets hit we freeze it so you can see what's going on in her mind. She knows the arcane barrage is coming to activate the stun which means death because of Elise so she quickly reactivates it to dodge the first charge and then immediately jumps the second time towards Zira. This not only brings the spider away from her planned escape path but also dodges the second charge as she reactivates her Q again to dodge the third charge and his Q and then flashes away for good measure in case the Elise wanted to try and Venomous Bite to get to her. Such precise planning and execution went into this and from the moment Elise is seen to where she flashes at the end only 5 seconds go by. And for our number 1 pro play for this week we have Adio Risk on Aurelia and something to note in this game is that she has a silver border as the 3 enemy players who appear in this fight contain 2 diamond and 1 platinum. We see her blade surge onto a minion to immediately stun Kennen, blade surging again and then popping her ultimate and ignite as Lee Sink Q's but she flashes it and then they collapse on her but her ultimate gets Kennen so low with the help of the tower which makes Kennen run away straight into the hands of the friendly Jarvan for the kill. She then east fizz and backs off dodging sonic wave as fizz goes for the kill but she quickly makes a path with blade surge to peace out as the friendly jarvan comes in with a slow from his shield. She drops a ward to see if he's gonna go for the sonic wave and when he does she quickly dodges it as well as the fizz ult and then he east to her but she stuns him again and gets the kill as she runs towards river but reads Lee Sin and jukes back with a blade surge to make an epic escape come to an end. Jarvan tries to flash into the sonic wave to be safe but after Lee Sin backs off he pursues Lee Sin but can't grab the kill making this a 2 for 0 exchange and showing that Adio Risk can tango with some of the top dogs in EUNE. And for the bonus clip of the week we have how do I cast her playing on Ezreal. At the start we see the enemy MF get really low she runs back to base and now we see Ezreal farming rates and you may be asking at this point where's this going why show this twice. And with those questions I say watch this cooldowns at the bottom left hand corner of your screen the second time I show the play so you can see how well calculated this is as well as how ingenious this play really is. Remember every time he lands a mystic shot it reduces all of his cooldowns by 1 second. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you back here soon for week 136 of our League of Legends top 5 plays.